portion of this video is sponsored by LastPass. Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back. Today's video is a bit special. As you may know, I love lock puzzles and I love sequential puzzles. Well, today I've stumbled on an ancient Indian lock puzzle. This is a nine step iron puzzle padlock. You know what I thought? All these lock puzzles are very cool, but even cooler than that is actually putting them to good use, sort of. I asked my friends to lock my phone inside of this box. <laughs> So this is a level 10 lock, uh, which, which locks this box and my phone is inside, so you will be hearing it go off. I have emails to answer, I got texts to answer, I got phone calls, I got FaceTimes and meetings. This is probably a really bad idea now that I think about it. Nonetheless, I thought it would be a little bit cooler to actually throw something on the line. The whole goal here is obviously to get my phone back. It comes with two keys, as you can see, and I'm just gonna get into solving it and get this over with. And speaking of locking up my phone in a secure vault, a portion of this video is sponsored by LastPass. LastPass is the leading online password manager used by millions to protect their identity and preserve their sanity. So LastPass basically autofills your credentials on mobile sites and apps for iOS and Android. When you open the app or site, LastPass will fill in your username and password for you, making it fast and easy to log in. There's literally an unlimited amount of password storage. So literally an infinite amount of passwords that you can put into this. You have free cross device sync. Basically it syncs to all your devices. So personally, I'm gonna say this, I have obviously passwords for so many things in my life, whether it's social media, online banking, or emails, or whatever it may be. I've got to add all these crazy characters and make this crazy elaborate password up. And the problem with that is, is that I'll forget one. And I don't want to use the same one every single time, because then you can just hack my life with, uh, with one password. So it basically protects your data and gives you the power to make your password impenetrable. And there's also no need to answer a million questions like your grandmother's maiden name or your high school mascot because LastPass has all your passwords stored. And if you're looking for even more advanced features like multi-factor authentication options and emergency access, you can upgrade to LastPass Premium. If you're interested, check out the link below. I've left the link there. So thanks to LastPass for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now back to the puzzle. Okay, probably not the brightest of my ideas, but we'll see how this goes. Start the timer. I can probably keep the timer here. You know what? We'll keep it here. It's out of focus, but you can see it. We got the focus locked down today. Okay. So sequential discovery. Oh, okay. This is gonna be difficult because I can't, <laughs> I can't spin it. I have to spin the entire box. I've solved some of these sequential puzzles before. So this clearly moves. I want my phone back. This here, this I think slides. See what I think here. Oh, what I think is that this is gonna slide out. This is gonna slide out of the way. By the way, um, a little bit of a side note. The solution for this was included. Antoine used it to open and lock this, but then lock the solution in here. So there you go. If you're thinking, ah, he's gonna use the solution. Well, it's in the box. So this, like I said, looks like it moves out of the way enough for that to slide. Yes, down, yes, 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 yes. See, boom. And here we go. We have our first little hole. Okay. That looks like it unscrews, but I might be, get these keys off here. So nine steps, it says. I don't know if that's maybe two steps already. So one, two, this is step three. So we're unscrewing. So it is unscrewing. And I think we have our first tool. Okay, so that's as far as that goes, or is it? Maybe it comes out. Okay, I don't wanna force anything. Okay, I don't know. That seems to come out. Um, but it looks like it gets stuck right there. So let's see if we can, we can do something else here. Hmm. The edge of this screw or bolt or whatever's in there seems to be stuck on the side and doesn't want to come out entirely. But if I see, see what I mean? When I screw it, it actually moves it. Okay. So this part, Uh, there's a part here which is lodged into into the side of that. Like this plate has to slide out. How far do I have to unscrew that, do you think? Or maybe I gotta screw it in. Screwing it out doesn't seem to accomplish much. Now that's all the way in. Does that do anything? Does that do anything? So there's a plate. This is a plate. This is a whole cover plate. Oh, oh. 
There we go. That just popped open. Okay. Now what? So that comes down. Why does that come down? Can it come down any further? Is there a keyhole in there? How many steps is that? This is one, two, three, four, five, maybe? Okay, so that hole there just locks that into place. So that springs up. So if I were to put this back, it doesn't even go back, you see? Oh, so there, oh, okay. So if I were to take this down, it'll pop open by itself. Boom, just like that. Very cool, I like that move. It's a nice move. Maybe now, maybe now we have to screw it in or screw it out. Try extracting it. Also, is the fact that I screwed it in, is that the reason I was able to move this plate down? We're gonna test that out just to make sure. Yeah, see that, that moves independently, even unscrewed, right? Yeah, okay, so that could have been like the first move then. What do I make of this thing? What do I make of this thing? And where are the extra tools? This is supposed to be sequential discovery. Oh, bam, it goes to the side as well. So I can't answer that right now. Oh, look what we have here. <laughs> so stressful with my phone ringing. <laughs> we have a keyhole here, um, but it's not lined up. So we're gonna have to go here and here I mean, okay, I heard a click. Listen, what does that click do? No, I've got this this plate that needs to, oh, needs to get out of the way. So maybe I need to put it back down, over. This side, this side needs to move. See, this is moving. I still don't know what the point of this was. Why I had to unscrew that all of a sudden. You think this plate slides down? But to do that, I have to move these, all these back and screw that back in. Let's try that. Let's try screwing that back in. All right, it's going in, it's going in, it's going in. We'll get this plate back up. We'll get this plate maybe to move out of the way. Let's see, that one doesn't go up any further. Oh, okay. That's a no, which means, okay, this one has to go back down. Okay. Oh, leave me alone. Something to do with this plate here. Something to do with that, because that, either something to do with that, or this side here has to, has to like pull this way because this piece is one piece that is locking this loop over on this side here. It's so close to being unlocked. Oh. Okay, that slides up. So that does slide over. Oh, was I supposed to do that in the first place? I guess it already had done it in the first place. Okay, so I guess that was move one. It just already was there. So move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I mean, I mean, we're pretty much at the end, I feel. What is that unlocking and locking? I'm, I'm feeling it lock and unlock, but what is it doing? Maybe, okay, hold on. Lock that back up. Maybe unscrewing this, oh, I'm sure. Ugh. Maybe unscrewing this and then popping that lock. I think that's a key. I think that's what we have to do here. What the hell is going on here? My key won't fit anymore. There we go. Okay. That's out. So 
So now, now we do it. Oh, what the hell, man? I, like, what is that? What is that doing? Okay, so it is unlocking this because look, watch. Just not unlocking it enough. Hello? Hello? Hey Siri, answer the phone. Like something popped. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, we're unlocked. Okay, we're gonna, there's something not right right here. We're gonna lock that back up. Okay, maybe, no, we're gonna lock it back up. Back to the beginning. We are now back at square one. So, square one, here we go. This was step number one. Step number two was moving this over. Oh my gosh, these are getting harder and harder to move over. I think, why else would that, why is that giving me such a big gap here? Step three. Oh, what the hell? Okay, no, that did that, that was there. Boom, step three, step three, that goes down. Step four, wait. That opens up. That opens up. I mean, the only thing left to do is I've got this here, which I'm gonna loosen up. Or maybe tighten. I feel like this piece is too bent and it should clear that hole. Come on. <sighs> this plate right here. This plate right here has a pin holding everything together right there there's like a small pin there but I can't slide that plate can't they just like pick lock it <sighs> if I could just grip it and pull it that would fix my problem. But it won't let me do any of that. There we go. Okay, so it was just a little rusty and... Uh, wait, is that open yet? Wait, is that not open? God damn it. Oh, is that not open? How is that not open? I've opened you. The pin is gone. Maybe I have to lock it again. Oh, okay, I gotta pull it out more. It's pull, I can't, I can't pull this thing out any further. It is as far as it goes. I wish I had my phone, cause I need a flashlight right now. Pin here on this thing was the last pin holding that together. Now something else is stopping it from opening. <laughs> Come on. It won't slide over anymore. That's weird. It won't slide up, it slides up. I down and it's supposed to slide over here. There we go. I don't I don't know what else to do. What's wrong with this thing? Box open. Oh no. No timer. Don't need it. Sorry. I let frustration get the best of me. Sometimes these things happen when you solve puzzles. Uh, don't feel bad out there if you feel like throwing your puzzle against the wall sometimes because uh, that's exactly what I felt like doing but instead I <laughs> But instead I threw the timer. So we're at about 30 35 minutes right now I'm looking at the uh, look at the monitor. Let's count the steps out. Shall we make sure they're all the way locked into place. That's one. That's two. That's three four 
Okay, that won't slide across maybe until this one is out of the way. So it's four. We're gonna unscrew this, which is gonna be five. So that's six. I'm looking to see if this plate here moves over. I'm gonna go back up. Now this plate moves, so it's like seven or eight. I'm not exactly sure. So that's completely out of the way. This should be nine, should be me. Now it won't unlock at all. I think I've done everything. I honestly think I've done everything. I think this actually is broken. That's, I know I say that a lot uh, when it comes to puzzles and stuff, but I do believe this time ah, it is actually broken. Sorry, I had to get that key out of there because it was bugging me. Like that's the click. Yeah. The mechanism on the inside might be broken due to, due to force. Or due to unknown circumstances. Ugh. Okay, I don't want to force anything. I have now got a sliver of metal in my finger. Be right back, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I've honestly got a sliver of metal somewhere in my finger. Just want to make sure we've locked it. So that that is locked right now. Definitely locked. It was locked. That's the way. That's the way it was. This is getting harder and harder to uh, play with because I guess the grease is wearing off and the metal starting to. <sighs> Solving the level 25 splinter in finger puzzle. I've done all the steps. I've done all the steps. I'm pretty sure this is unlocked. You can see. Okay, there's a mechanism in there that when I lock it, it locks the lock, as you can see. And now unlocked now we are officially unlocked also this uh, screw that i had to use this key to unlock um, also prevented this lock from opening so there was three uh separate things that were holding this there one was the pin on the top here that was slid there that i that i then slid out this thing here two was the pin for this lock and three was the pin for this uh screw that's there so Every, I mean, I think it's just jammed. Yep, there it is. That's all it was. Oh my God. Oh my God. So here you go. As you can see, one, that hole was for the slidey part, which is here, this pin here. Two was the key and three was the screw that was there. I mean, I gotta say, I really, really like this puzzle. I think it's great. Uh, I don't see it as a sequential discovery, more of just a sequential lock puzzle. Um, Cause there were no extra tools, it seems. But the intricacy of this lock is very, very cool. The, the, the one thing I can say that I don't like about it was the fact that as the more you play with it, the more, the rougher it gets to move around. And uh, that I didn't really enjoy because it, it makes you think you broke it. It makes you think it's broke. It makes you think uh, you're just not doing something right. So, da, 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 da. oh nice, we sold uh, we sold a shirt. Let's uh, let's do this backwards to see if we got it. Use the flat key in the exposed keyhole under the front flap to unlock the regular padlock. So yeah, yeah. You see, this is a problem here. This is the problem. Do you see that's supposed to go back in there, but it's been bent and it no longer, it no longer fits in. So this, I have to actually bend back. So I'm gonna try to, try to fix this. Okay, see that? That goes in nice and smoothly now. That goes down, that goes in, that goes up. This now screwed all the way in. 
All right, so let's say we were to open this one more time. We're gonna unscrew this. So that comes out. This goes here, over here. That opens up. I go back, I go up. This plate here can slide out of the way. The plate that gave me a splinter. Ugh, see, it's so hard to like slide out. This is what should have happened on the video, what didn't happen, but lastly, this. And then that should open. Okay. So we did solve it, very happy. I would say total time, hadn't it been for this being bent, I would say a half an hour. But because it was bent, I would say an extra half an hour of swearing added to that. And, uh, and that's it. So once again, over here, that is it. We solved it. The two key nine step Indian puzzle lock. Away you go. Well, hot. <laughs> Still got something in my finger. Kind of annoying. It's one of those things that like, you're like, oh, I got it. And then you're walking around. You're like, ha, oh, missed it. I've got my phone back. I'll never do that to you again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so there you have it. That was the Indian puzzle lock. God, it hurts. And it gave me a run for my money, let me tell you. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash like. If you enjoyed the fact that we actually did something with the puzzle lock, I mean, that deserves a like. And we're gonna try to get creative on future puzzles. Yeah, probably not all the time, but sometimes. I think it's cool. It's a cool exercise. Uh, probably the longest I've been off my phone <laughs> in recent memory. Uh, I should probably take a big break from my phone if that's uh, if that's the case. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on Friday for another one. Peace.